Dell Tencent Books, affectionately known as Dell Dimers. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and we're going to talk about the Dell Dimers today. It's a 36 book series, and uh, they're numbered 1 to 36, published by Dell Books. And um, we're going to, have to show the entire, uh, the entire run of the 36 books. Um, first off, we're going to start off with, uh, with Trumpets West by Luke Short. The cover artist by H.W. Scott. The Dell Tencent books were an experiment in 1951. All three, 36 books were published. They were 64 pages, and uh, uniform 64 pages, and they sold for 10 cents. They were thin books. Let's see how, how fragile they are. 64 pages. Some of them were not paginated. Uh, the back co the, the inside back cover, 10 cent books, and the inside front cover were the same. The, uh, the title page often had the uh, illustrator. And um, that's the first book in the series, series Trumpets West by Luke Short. Um, many of these, uh, the, the, art, the cover artists, Barry Phillips, Victor Kalin, Robert Stanley, Raphael DeSoto, Bill Fleming, uh, and many others did some really excellent work for the series. Uh, the thing about a lot of these books is that they were, they were published as uh, actually first editions because many of them were pulp magazine stories or magazine stories, uh, short novels that were... Um, that were issued the first time in this series in paperback. Second book in the series is Rain by W. Somerset Maugham. And it's the story of Sadie Thompson, uh, a, a kind of a wild, uh, carefree woman. Uh, it's it's an interesting story. The back covers are basically the same, same kind of, same design. They have uh, the Del Tencent book logo, the title on the spine here, and a little bit about the, uh, a little bit about the story. And then they tell you about other books in the series. So the back covers are pretty much the same. The inside front and back covers are the same. But the covers are really what's cool about them and very exciting. Third book is Night Bus by Samuel Hopkins Adams. Fourth book is a classic murder mystery, um, Locked Doors by Mary Robert Reinhardt, Trapped, Nearly Insane with Fear. She should have never looked. Locked Doors, Mary Robert Reinhardt. Book number five is a really sexy, cute girl, good girl cover art. Bride from Broadway by Faith Baldwin. Faith Baldwin wrote a lot of uh, romance books. And this is a kind of a cutesy, risque, sexy romance. The Wedding Journey, number six, by Walter D. Edmonds. He was a great historical writer. He wrote uh, Drums Along the Mohawk. And this is a historical uh, novel, though it looks more like a love story. Number seven is uh, Mignon G. Eberhardt, Deadly is the Diamond, about silent, silent murders. Great cover art. Cover on this one was credited by Bill Fleming. The cover on Bride from Broadway, which is a cute one, is credited by Wesley um, side them. Number eight, Pearl Buck, Journey for Life, Asian cover. She wrote a lot of books set in uh, China. Number nine, Strangers in Love by Vina Del Mar. She wrote kind of uh, risque, tempestuous romances, I don't know what the story is with this, where he's got a beautiful girl behind him, 
but he's looking at the horse. I don't know, maybe it's Mr. Ed. I don't know what's going on, but I think it's a Robert Stanley cover. It's a really nice cover art. Number 10, Trees Die at the Top by Edna Ferber. Uh, one of the big money books in the series is Marijuana by William Irish or Cornell Woolrich and the Bill Fleming did the uh, cover painting for that. That was number 11. Number 12 is The Longhorn Legion by Norman A. Fox, another Western. There's a few Westerns in, in this series, though not, though not many. Most of the books are uh, kind of uh, mystery and uh, murder mysteries or lighthearted mysteries. Um, and uh, there's even a, a science fiction one in that's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll get to. Number 13, Sun, Sea, and Sand by John P. Marquand. Uh, he's the author of a lot of uh, uh, famous uh, detective crime novels. Uh, Fanny Hurst is a name that you might have heard of. Um, number 14 is the name is Mary. We're going to go through the whole series of 36. Uh, give you a good idea of the cover art. Number 15, A Taste for Cognac by Brett Halliday. That's a uh, Mike Shane mystery. And actually, this is uh, covers by Robert Stanley. And, <clears throat> and that's Robert Stanley and probably his wife, his wife Rhoda, as the uh, models. He often used himself and his wife Rhoda as models for the covers. Uh, number 16, another W. Somerset Mong, The Beachcomber. A lot of these, again, they say are first editions, uh, thus, because that's the first time they were published uh, as a separate book. Um, many of them were from uh, uh, collections or, uh, you know, of, of uh, books by the author where they had a lot of stories and they would take one of these stories and put it into a Dell 10 cent book. Or a lot of these were also uh, magazine stories, uh, novellas and novelettes and magazines that uh, uh, were published in this series. Remembering Laughter by Wallace Stegner is number 17. Number 18, Free Woman by Catherine Brush is a story of a career woman out in the world. Death Walks the Marble Halls by Lawrence G. Blockman, number 19, is a, num a murder mystery. And you see they have the Dell logo and with the number all in the 10 cents on each uh, of the books. And they have the Dell uh, keyhole logo with the uh, eye to denote uh, mystery on most of the books, but not, not all of them. This one, because it's a mystery. Uh, we're back to Westerns again. Number 20, Tom W. Blackburn, Broken Arrow Range, about a Texan who fights for uh, his girl. Nice cover art. The cover art on this is by Bob Stanley again. Um, Nero Wolf uh, was, is, a, is a, a very popular collectible uh, series of books. Uh, Rex Stout, the author, the creator of that series. Door to Death is number 21, a Nero Wolf mystery. Again, it has the mystery logo. Mary Roberts Reinhardt was another favorite uh, mystery writer um, in Alibi for Isabel, number 22. In the series, we've got a bad girl. She's got the gun that she probably just killed somebody. And uh, again, with the mystery logo. They're still getting into mysteries because uh, the next one, number 23, is The Lamp of God by Ellery Queen. Everybody's heard of Ellery Queen. 
Those are uh, very popular. Number 24, John O'Hara, is uh, Pal Joey. And this was made into the Frank Sinatra movie about a singer. And Frank Sinatra played the, uh, the singer, of course. And really cool cover art. All of these have really nice covers. Um, John Hershey um, is a author who wrote a lot about the uh, about Asia. And number twenty five, South of Cancer. Uh, the story. Usually, um, many of his stories were post World War II. Um, again, uh, another crime novel. Uh, You'll Never See Me Again by William Irish, Cornell Woolrich, number 26. This one is not in such great shape, but it's a toughie to find. That one and Marijuana, the two William Irish books, which were by Cornell Woolrich. You know, they're taking the body out. Number 27, Paul Gallico. Thief is an Ugly Word. Nice cover art. It's a spy novel crime spy novel. Uh, Kelly Ruse, a Jeff and Hallie Troy murder mystery. Beauty marks the spot. Um, with cover art by Raphael DeSoto, who did some covers in the series. Did some nice ones. Joffrey Housel Household was a crime author. And... Um, he wrote some really good books. Delilah of the Backstairs is number 29 in the series. Again, we have Faith Baldwin with book number 30. And that's Wife versus Secretary. Raphael de Soto did the cover for number 31, Hugh Pentecost's Chinese Nightmare. A uh, really uh, stunning cover of uh, of uh, warfare in communist China during the height of the Red Scare. Uh, the Murderer Who Wanted More by Baynard Kendrick is a Duncan MacLean mystery. And the cover art's ref by Raphael de Soto. That's Del Tencent, book number 32. We're getting near the end now. Uh, one of the most... Uh, sought after and collectible books in the series is number 33, The Case of the Dancing Sandwiches by Frederick Brown. Uh, Robert Stanley did the cover art. Incredible uh, book. Very uh, tough to find, very collectible uh, Frederick Brown book. Another crime novel, murder, murder novel by Helen McCloy, number 34, Better Off Dead, again, cover art by Robert Stanley. Perry Stowe wrote Superstition Farm, uh, number 35, a hanging cover, um, again, by Robert, uh, Robert Stanley, cover art. It's a uh, kind of a brutal novel about, uh, about prejudice. And the last book in the series is uh, interesting. It's the only science fiction one. It's by Robert A. Heinlein, number 36, and it's called Universe. Robert Stanley did the cover, and it has the two-headed mutant in the spaceship um, that the story is about. So there you have... There you have a, a look at all 36 of the uh, Dell Ten Cent books, or Dell Dimers, as they're affectionately called by collectors. Um, 36 books published uh, in 1951, a uniform 64 pages, sold for 10 cents. It was an experiment that it didn't seem to work out. I would have loved to see them do more books in this series. It would have been really cool, but we're happy that we have the 36 that we have. And um, just hope you liked this video, enjoyed it. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, giving it a look. Um, give us a thumbs up and a like, and subscribe to this channel for more 
um, videos that we're going to be doing in the future. And uh, thanks again for looking.